Uh-huh. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seem to be doing that. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. <clears throat> we could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Why not? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Idiots. You don't actually get maps anymore in missions to find out where you're going. <clears throat> oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Women's restroom. Men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. The shower's in here too. Right with the open door right here. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I already talked to these people. So if some ladies coming out of the restroom. In or out of the restroom while another one's taking a shower and you're like just walking by. Oops. Life support. Access to life support is restricted. Can't go to port observation either. Alright. Toilets. Why'd they even put restrooms here? <coughs> Miranda gets an office. She's special. <clears throat> Commander, what can I do for you? What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. Plastic I'm surgery? Just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> <coughs> She's probably had implants. <laughs> what genetic modification are we talking about? 
That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. <laughs> uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Whatever I need. <clears throat> Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? This is the need anything thing. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. You have everything you need. I yeah, make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. Maybe he needs something else later. Back to work. The main battery. The gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Have to find a gunnery officer? Why can't I just promote somebody? Dr. Chuck Wars? Commander Shepard. <coughs> I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Ceres Ice Brandy? I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. But I want to have sex with you. <laughs> I hope they don't let you have sex with Dr. Chocolates. That would be pretty gross. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I mean, she's not like hideous, but she is Access to substantially the AI old. The AI core. <clears throat> so the shit probably does go crazy at some point. You have to go destroy the AI core. <laughs> <laughs> 